Hello, welcome to Mr B's ukulele channel. Please subscribe and I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, this is the tutorial video for Zippity Doodah. Now, this is quite a simple piece, but it's quite fast, which makes it a lot trickier than it could be if we did it slowly. But it's fun fast because it just flows and it just, it just brings out the joy of the day when you sing it with a bit of spirit. So that's the target to add plenty of tempo to it. So we'll start with the chords, let's have a look at the chords and then we'll look at the uh, strumming patterns and the layout of the piece which is very simple and then we'll look at a few variations at the end that you can also do just to have some fun with this. Let's start with the chords then, they're not too tricky, you've got five different chords, some of those are very familiar to us already. So we've got our C chord, third finger, third fret, bottom string, nice and simple. Play along on the C, job done. OK, we've also got an F chord, first and second finger on the yellow stickers, first and second fret. So C and F, nice and simple. And then we've got some sevens. We've got a C7, a G7 and a D7. Start with that C7, nice and simple, it's, that, uh, it's the A string again and it's our first finger on the A string. It's just one finger, instead of being on the third fret, we just move it up to the first fret. So instead of a normal C, it's a C7 there, and it couldn't be easier. Just gives you that nice seventh note in the in the chord that just just keeps the interest, gives it an extra sort of uh, special twang to it. Okay, so we've got the C7, and then we've got a G7. G7 is very similar to a G, but instead of looking like that, it looks like that. It's just a bit inverted, it's a bit like it's been in a mirror. And uh, so we've got our first and second, uh, second and third finger rather, I go down on the second fret, and the first finger goes next to it on the first fret there. So it's one, two, three. No, it's not one, two, three, I should say. One, two, three, third finger on the bottom, there we go. The joy of the G7 is if you're really struggling with that, for a while you can just put in a G and it doesn't really make any difference to the piece. So it's only a slight difference. So if you're struggling, you can just play a normal G. If you need to, you can just do that. But if you can do, learn the G7 and put that in. It's just a little bit different. It sounds just a little bit uh, more unusual. It's just a bit makes it a bit different. Okay, then we've got the D7. Now the easy thing about the D7 so we can put our second finger across the whole second fret. Now it's not technically it's not the A string on the bottom, but we're going to put our third finger or where we'd normally play a C on the third fret on the A string. So we can cover the whole second fret knowing that our third finger is going to correct that bottom string. Uh, so we can play the D7 just like that. And that makes it nice and easy. So the D7 is one finger across the whole of the second fret. And then your third finger, like you would on a C, on the bottom string there on the third fret. Play a D, uh, D7. So if we have a look at the um, introduction, the introduction is C to C7, F to D7, C to G7, C and C. Let's have a go at that. Now the strumming pattern I'll come on to in a minute, so let's just do down strums for now on that introduction. C7. D7, C, G7, C. Let's do it one more time. C, C7, F, D7, C. Seven, C, and again. And there we have the chords. And once you're able to do that introduction like that, um, you're halfway there. Okay. Okay, let's look at the strumming pattern now. Now we're going to keep the strumming pattern really simple, and we're just going to do down, down, up, up, down. Basically we can do that all the way through and that works really nicely. 
So if I just go through that introduction and that chord pattern that we did just now, but instead of the four down strums, we do that strumming pattern and it goes a bit like this. faster to give it the correct tempo it goes a little bit like this let's repeat that let's do that again C C7 F G7 C G7 C That's your speed and that's your chords and that's half the piece there in that introduction. Okay, we can then look at verse 1 and start putting some of the words with that chord pattern. So verse 1 follows very similar, uh, very similar chord progression to what we've just done on the introduction. So we'll play through that, we'll play through slowly and then you'll see how it all fits together. So it starts off on the C. And the C7 comes in the middle of the doodah so it's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, one pattern on each of those chords there. C, C7, F, C. Zippity-goo-da, zippity-a. Except a slight delay on the A, where we sort of um, slightly go to the C slightly early. Zippity-a. So that first line again. Second line on the C. My oh my, what a D7. Wonderful G7 day. Except we're going to say day whilst on the D7 and sort of drag it into the G7. Wonderful day. Okay, like that. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Third line, plenty of sunshine. Now that one, we move to the C7 in the middle of the second strumming pattern. So it's C, C, set C7. So we do the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So we change the C7 halfway through that second strumming pattern, so it's a bit tricky that. Plenty of sunshine. That's the one. On to the third line, and we start with the C and straight into the C7 with one strumming pattern on each um, chord. Plenty of sunshine headed my way. And again, we just slightly um, splitting the words by going to the chords in the middle of them. So way, we start with the way on the F and then flip to the C. Headed my way, zippity doodla, zippity a. Now the only tricky bit there is the ending where we do a zippity a. And we have to break down the strumming pattern there into the different chords. So we do a zippity a. So it's two down on the D7, then the rest of that pattern on the G7, then the full pattern on the C. So it's zippity hey. So it's uh, two down on the D7, zipper, up, up, down, up on the G7, D, hey. Full strumming pattern on the C. Okay, let's run that full first verse. It's a bit tricky, once you get into the feel of the tempo and the rhythms, it, it works really nice. So we'll keep it quite slow for now. Zippity doo da, zippity hey. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine headed my way. We go straight into the chorus and we don't actually complete the strumming pattern on the word A. Zippity A because we go straight into Mr. Zippity A Mr. 
So I only do a couple of strums on the A before I go into Mister. Let's just do that again. Simply, hey Mister Bluebird, on my shoulder. It's the truth. It's actual. Everything is satisfactual. And then we go back into zippity doo dah and it repeats. So I'll just do that chorus one more time and then you'll see how it all fits together. Zippity hey Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It's the truth, it's actual, everything is satisfactual. And then um, that the, repeats the beginning of the song, just repeats the zippity doo da zippity day, wonderful feeling, wonderful day. Really easy, and then the whole thing repeats. I'm just going to play through the whole thing once, just so you can see how it all goes together. Zippity doo da, zippity hey. And at the end, you just repeat those final two lines. Wonderful feeling, wonderful day. And the wonderful day at the end follows the same strumming pattern as the zippity eight from the first verse. So we've got that wonderful day. Except we don't do the full pattern on the C, we just, you can just finish with a single strum. So it's two strums on the D7. Four, up, up, down, up on the G7, and then a single strum on the C. Wonderful day. Just do it one more time. Wonderful day. So it's two, four, and one. Wonderful day. Okay, hopefully that's clear. And uh, so that's the chords and the strumming and the singing and how it all fits together. So the geography is really simple, you just sing through the whole thing twice and repeat those two lines at the end of the song. You've got an introduction as well that we talked about earlier. Now the only other thing to consider is a bit of variation on the strumming. So just for the sake of uh, ease, I've stuck to down, down, up, up, down, up. through. However you can intersperse that with a bit of variation and you can um, add in a little bit of down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. It just adds a little bit of more rhythm to it, a bit more variation, gets the thing driving a little bit more. And there's no set place that you have to put it in, you can sort of just put it in where you think it feels nice or feels good and every time you play it, it might be slightly different. But it's just a nice variation that fits in with the, the other rhythms and the other strumming and just allows you to sort of get carried away and enjoy the different moments of the song. So you can play around with that and put a bit of variation in, basically with just a few extra up and down strums just so there's less spacing and that you just sort of get carried away and, and enjoy those moments. Okay, that's about it. So that's zippity doo dah. Look out for the sing-along next week. Uh, do enjoy learning this one. It's a fantastic song. Do have fun. Thank you very much.